Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and this cute red panda block is the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. When I say current, it is April 1st, 2022, and this pattern is going to be exclusive to the club for the entire month of April. And then sometime at the end of May, it'll be available in the shop at shinyhappyworld.com if you want the pattern but don't want to join the club. Uh, here's how to make it. Okay, we're ready to start layering this uh, panda, this red panda on the block, the background block. And um, I've got a separate video that shows you how to do this with a light box without a light box without the placement lines. But in this video, for those of you who don't have a light box or don't want to use a light box, I'm going to show you how to do it if you have transferred the the dotted lines from the pattern pieces onto the fabric side of your patterns. So start with the shoulders if you're going to use the shoulders if you want to do an emoji style floating head in the middle just eliminate the shoulders piece but i'm going to show you how to do it with the shoulders if you do that you're going to want to line the cut edge up of the the of the bottom of the shoulders that straight line up with the raw edge at the bottom of your block next layer the head in and you want to make the head cover that line that you transferred on the shoulder pieces now we're gonna put the ears in and the same thing. We're gonna cover up that line, that transfer line that we, that we marked on there. Then we're gonna do that with the second ear. And then we're gonna slide the inner ears in there and we're gonna cover up where we show those being marked and cover up the line there. So once we get those covered, we know we've got that in the right place. We're going to do the same thing on this side. And now we get the fun part, putting his face together. So the muzzle goes where I've got that marked. And I've got two eyes and two eyebrows. and these interesting little cheek patches that he's got. And then we give him his nose. And there we go, red panda. So I'll take this over, I'll fuse it down, just follow the instructions on whatever brand of adhesive you're using. And then um, I'll take it to the sewing machine and outline all the pieces and then bring it back and show it to you. All right, here is the red panda all finished and uh, I've done all of the outlining on it. Uh, if I forget to mention it, people always ask. So here's the rundown on the fabrics. All of the fabrics for the face are designed by me. These are part of the Animal Kingdom Blenders collection. So all of these come from that. And the background block, it has the quilting lines actually printed on it. So you just follow the lines when you do your quilting. That is from the Gemstones collection. And there's um, background blocks in darks, mediums, and lights from that collection. So you could go really dark to very pastel. This is from the darks collection, but I've done it in a few other colors as well. So Turning Red just recently came out on Disney Plus and I loved it. And so I've done a block that is less realistic colors. Like this block is very realistic colors for a red panda. This block is more the colors that they used in the movie. It was brighter orange and also red pandas have a black chest and belly and actually the fronts of their arms are black as well. But in the movie, she had um, an orange, fully orange body and also her inner ears, instead of just being slightly dark gray or slightly darker white, the, the outside of the ears are white with a little bit of darker shading in the middle. In the movie, they gave her just a lighter shade of orange inside her ears. So this isn't trying to look exactly like May from the movie, but if you liked the movie and are making a red panda inspired by that, you can do red panda colors like May from the movie. And the fabrics on this, so the whites are all from the Animal Kingdom blenders, just like 
um, in this version, and all of the bright oranges are from the Gemstone Blenders collection. These are all tourmaline, shades of tourmaline, which is a reddish orange. And the background block is also from the Gemstones collection. This is uh, from the Emerald, and this is the medium colored blocks. And I'm just realizing looking at this, I think I ran out of thread. Um, so I need to go back and quilt a couple of lines on there. So I've got other colors too. Here's another version in pretty realistic colors. This uses the Warm Neutral Batiks bundle. I will tell you that the batiks are a little bit harder to see through if you're using the light box, so just be aware of that. And then the background block is from the Muted Rainbow fabric bundle, and I just really like how that turned out. And I've got one more. So I'm doing a really uh, playful collection that have the that are that are using more black and white prints. So everywhere that uh, a red panda is white, I used a black and white print that is almost all white. And everywhere that an actual red panda shades a little bit darker, I just went um, again black and white, but a little bit darker in there. And I did this one without the shoulders. So instead of looking like a photograph where that's just going to be cropped there, it looks more it's more emoji style with a floating head. But if I had decided to do a, the normal way that I do it with the, with the shoulders in there, this is the fabric that I would have used. So also a black and white print, but here where a red panda is very dark, I would have chosen a print like this one that is mostly black. So lots of different options, fun things you can play with. You can do an emoji style floating head with almost any of my patterns. Most of my patterns have the head separate from the shoulders and you can do that emoji style floating head just by leaving the shoulders piece out. So that are that is a set of variations. Oh, I forgot to mention. So the blacks and whites are from the black and white fabric bundles. This is from the Dots fabric bundle. I just love this print. And this dark, this purple um, batik block is from the rainbow, the batik rainbow fabric bundles. So that's all the fabrics that I've done, um, all of the different variations with shoulders, without shoulders, all kinds of fun that you can have with this pattern. So again, it's the red pattern, red panda current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club for April 2022. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and I'll see you next time.